Sweet. All right, let's go and beat this cat woman. Oh man, she's agile. God, Ugh. I'm gonna have a Super Nintendo cheap shot her. Oh God, I only have a couple more continues. I'm gonna get as far as I can in this game. Uh, yeah! Beat her again. Whew. What? She just jumped off the cliff. Alright, whatever. Didn't, I think Batman kicked her off the cliff of the movie. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into that. I, what, did Batman kick her off in the movie? Well, anyway, she survived. Landed Kitty Litter. Pretty ironic. Gotta love Tim Burton. I love these cutscenes, too. These cutscenes are sweet. What do we got? What do we got? Stage four. I got two more continues. I only got two more continues, so let's see what's going on here. All right, nice and dark. I like it. It's very, very gothic. There's like a million of these thin clowns. God, you gotta love these beat em ups. I'm almost done with this game. I don't know what I'm going to play next. I think I'm going to play the uh, Batman and Robin the Animated Series for Super Nintendo. I just picked that one up like two or three weeks ago. I haven't got a chance to play that one. That one's really hard. I got a Game Genie just in case it gets too hard, but I'm going to try it all natural and just try to go at it. But I probably won't get that far, but you guys will definitely see that. Because I really enjoy doing these Let's Plays, so I'm going to do a bunch more. Man, so much Batman needs to talk about too. We're actually uh, recording the podcast tomorrow, Sunday the 13th. March 13th, and there's so much news. Oh man, just wait till you tune into that one. I know we're starting to expand our repertoire. I like doing these Let's Plays, it's kind of my thing. Darren and Matt aren't really into video games, let alone retro video games. I mean, I really like them. And I got a whole bunch of them, so I'm not just, I'm gonna do Let's Plays on more than just Batman games. I have Castlevania 4, I wanna do a Let's Play on, oh, I got Castle, Super Castlevania. I also got uh, Punisher for the Sega Genesis. I got a, actually a, a remake of that for 50 bucks. It's actually one, a rare game. It's really good. It's a beat-em-up where uh, one player is uh, the Punisher and the second player is Nick Fury, which is pretty sweet. Oh, God, I gotta be cheap at these guys because they're everywhere. Boom. Torch, guys. Take that thin clown. There's so many of you. Oh, that was pretty cool. You, like, double, double, double slammed them. Did that in the movie. Anyway, yeah, I got a bunch of games I want to play. Mostly short games. I'm only going to cover short games. Maybe I'll do a few long plays, but nothing more than, you know, I won't make the videos too long. Don't worry. Unless you want to see that. I got a whole mess of retro games. That's why uh, I really just figured out how to edit and, well, not edit, but I just figured out how to do these types of things. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. All right. I think there's a driving level coming up pretty soon. Oh, it's the Ice Princess, the one that gets pushed out the window onto the Christmas tree in the movie. I gotta fight Catwoman again, she's pretty rough. Take that. God, she was rough the first time. Gotta get her. Ah, that whip. There we go. There we go. Oh man. I'm so surprised. The Super Nintendo is like 25 years old and it's still firing up. No, wait, more than that. Yeah, probably like 25 years old. And it's still firing up pretty good. Can we get her? Oh god! Heard her Catwoman like speed! Get her. Come on, come on, come on. Come to Batman. One of these days we're going to do a review of this movie on the podcast. I just can't remember when or how I'm going to do that quite yet, but I'm looking forward to doing that. Because I love this movie. Whew. Save the Ice Princess. Yeah. Hey, which, what's Catwoman doing? Girl talk. All right, rooftop. I think I might... Peng oh, yeah. Spoke too soon. Got to fight the penguin. Danny DeVito. Oh, Frank Reynolds.
This part's kind of hard. It's gonna probably gonna take me a few tries. I'm also using my bombs since I'll probably die in this battle anyway. Come on. Oh, he got me. <sighs> anyway, did you guys like Danny DeVito as the Penguin? I did. He was scary when I was a kid, but he was a good choice. Really fit the kind of uh, Tim Burton style. Although, like I said, he's Frank Reynolds. Come on. Man, you can get him. That voice is kind of a standard voice, too. I'm pretty sure it's a. Uh, I've heard that in Castlevania. Come on, Batman. Not even a word on his life yet? Oh, no. Come on. Oh, man. Get the bomb. There he goes. Oh, he's finally at normal life. Take this, you penguin bastard. I can get him. I can get him. Oh, his fine umbrellas are a pain in the ass. Ah! See, so I'm getting too aggressive. Come on, Batman. You can get him. Save the ice, princess. Woo! Stage four clear. All right. You know what I haven't watched is the Batman, which is the animated. It's a, not Batman the animated series. It's a Batman animated series that came out in the mid two thousands. It was kind of a kid show, but it's it's actually pretty well done. I mean, it's not great if you kind of don't mind like a real childish one. It's nowhere near the animated series, but. They had a really funny version of the Joker. The Joker fought like Yoda from Star Wars. It was hilarious. Him and Batman would always have these like fat, agile battles like in trees and on rooftops. Anyway, I don't know, sorry. This is one of the epic Super Nintendo cutscenes here. Scene five. The oh, there is a Batmobile level. Sweet. It's not gonna be on like Arkham Knight where it's too heavy handed. So I'm big complaint about that game. It's like, I love the Batmobile, but man, it was too heavy handed. I've not played Bat Arkham Knight in such a long time. I got all the DLC just sitting there waiting for me to play it. Oh, oh, this is pretty hard. Oh, oh, faster, faster. Whoa, whoa. This reminds me of a small racer Nintendo game, Ridge Racer for Nintendo. Spy Hunter, it reminds me of Spy Hunter. I heard the Sega CD had an epic level of this. The Sega CD actually had a Batman Returns as well. But I heard it was just a straight driving level. It had none of those side scrolling action. It was a completely different game. Very similar animation, though. I think it was all driving levels and stuff. Oh, I'm getting up, getting up, Super Bikers. Oh, man. I don't remember this in the movie. Get him, get him. Sweet. God, I'm really looking forward to seeing that Batman v Superman. That's come out in a couple of weeks. I'm Definitely gonna see that probably opening weekend. We've been talking about it. it's all we talk about on the podcast. There's been so much news about it. Oh, Jenna Malone. It was unfortunate. Jenna Malone's. Uh, well, I guess not unfortunate, but they're saving her, uh, Jenna Malone's scene for the unrated version that's coming out on DVD. But we don't quite know what her role is. But it's speculated that she's gonna be Barbara Gordon, and the scene that's spoke of is gonna be from uh, the Killing Joke, and that's what the solo Batman movie is gonna be about. So we'll see. Anyway, still fighting these circus clowns. Oh my god, look how the background shifts. It's pretty cool. The background looks really cool. Batman, why is Gotham City always dark? It's perpetually dark there. It's perpetually nighttime. Speaking of which, it's daylight savings tonight, so set your clocks forward. Today is March 11th. Oh, yes. Give me those. Yes. I'll take all those. <coughs> I don't know what they do, or quite what they are, but I'll use them. Whoa! Was it an ambulance? A TV crew? 
The turtle van painted white? What is that? Get him, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Kind of reminds me of uh, Twisted Metal. Sweet Tooth's uh, Ice Cream Mobile. That was a great game. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play that too. That's a short game. I'll do a Let's Play that for sure. Maybe a two-player Let's Play. That'll be fun. Yeah, like me and Darren. No, or Matt. Nah, Matt sucks. But yeah, we'll, I'll do a Let's Play one of these days. Of that game. That game's great. Woo! Take that, campaign van. Oh, it was, it was Penguin's campaign van, of course. Whew. Yeah. Clear. Getting pretty close to the end of this game. <laughs> That's sick. He looks like an old school gangster. <laughs> like Jimmy Cagney. Good, 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 good. Fires on the crowd. As he flees to the sewers. Flees to the sewers. He's planning to kidnap all the firstborn sons. Yeah, that was a lot dark. I see, I didn't really quite understand that when I was a kid, but I guess, I don't know what Tim Burton was going for there, but yeah, Pigman kidnaps all the firstborns in Gotham. Mm -hmm.